Derek Nane here. And I just got in part two of the race car upgrade. Let's go check it out. Uh, first thing I do is get the Subi out of the way. Let me take a quick tour of my garage. Realize I've never done that. But race car upgrade number two is sitting in my garage right now. So this is my wonderful one car garage. Let's take a look around. Look at all the clutter. My hoarding skills are on point. So here is my track bike. Love this thing. Got this probably four years ago, maybe. I think it's a Trek 1.3. Thing is absolutely amazing. And light as a feather. Definitely recommend it to anyone that either getting into bike biking or just loves biking in general. It is awesome. Let's go this way. More clutter. Uh, Subaru. There's that. More kids stuff. My Rhino ramps for working on my car. And drum roll please, race car upgrade number two. Boom. Ridge stones. Let's see if I can get these in the light for you. Bridgestone Potenza RE71Rs. So these are amazing. So my plan is these are going to be autocross only tires. Let me zoom out for you a little bit. Um, so right now I have my stock Dunlop still on my NK rims or wheels. Sorry. So then I have these and I also have my winter tires. And here's my winter tires. So these are Blizzak WS 70s. And those, and these are actually, I'm not sure if I ever showed you guys, my gold Plasti Dip wheels. So these are just the stock 2014 WRX Subaru wheels that I Plasti Dip gold. Um, didn't Plasti Dip it that well, as you can see. Some overspray there. But, oh well, I did it in a hurry. So for anyone doing that, I do not recommend it. So just for reference, these are 225 45s. So yeah, those are two, the, my winters are 225, 45, 17s. The stock tires, I believe, are 235, yeah, 235, 45, 17s. The Bridgestone Potenza RE71 R's that I got are 245, 40, 17. Now, there are a couple reasons why I did that. So 245 means wider tire, which means more contact with the pavement. And these things are grippy. So that's even better. Um, now, I only went to 245 because for the SCCA STU class that I'm in, that is as wide as I can go. Since my stock is 235, I can only go out to 245. So 245 is the widest I could go. And it's getting a little more. There we go. Now, I went with 40 instead of 45 because as these get wider, they get higher. So for 245, 40 is the lowest they would go right now um, to fit on my stock wheel and in my stock or my current setup on my car. Um, but yeah, so these are race car upgrade number two. Let me show you a quick comparison, is like the treads of these tires. So these are the Blizzax, uh, as you can see, completely made for winter. Anyone wondering, I have gone through two Wisconsin winters with these right now absolutely love them they're still i mean there's minimal wear on these 
And for me, these go on usually early, you know, before it gets too cold, just to be safe. And they stay on longer, once again, to be safe, because with Wisconsin, we can get snow in April. Um, this is the tread. Woo, woo, woo. For the Potenza RE71 R's, completely different. All right, I'm gonna do my best to show you guys this. But this, this is what the tread looks like on a stock. So these are definitely, while these are summer, these are definitely made, not made, you know, for extreme driving, especially autocross and track, things like that. So these are coming off today. Once again, here is my NK wheels. I love them, I love the way they look. They are not performance, they're not, you know, super light wheels, but they are nice. But anyways, the plan today is I'm going to load these in my car and we're going to get them installed on the car. Let's hit the road, get these bad boys installed. All right, on our way to the shop right now. One thing I didn't think about, and you'll find out in a second, is I put one of the tires in the passenger seats and into the seat belt. So this happens. Oh well. All right, I did want to say that these new tires, um, my wheel setup, all the modifications I've done to my car so far i have listed on my wheel well page so make sure to check it out guys i'll put a link to my page um, in the description below for those of you that don't know what wheel well is wheel well is like facebook minus all of the crap that no you know car people don't care about you know i'm not on facebook because i don't really give a crap what someone had for breakfast what someone's political views are things like that that annoys the living shit out of me to be honest uh, but Wheel Well is kind of like Facebook in that it's a community for car people to come together. You pretty much you go on, you put, you know, what your car is, you know, you put your car in, and then you can load in modifications you've done. So I've done that, so make sure to check that out. There's a full list of the modifications I've done. Uh, but you can also do, like, wish lists. So and I've done one of those. Um, so it shows kind of things that I want either realistically or even unrealistically you know things I'd love to do to my car um, but yeah make sure to check it out once again link to my page in the description below make sure to check it out if you aren't signed up for wheel well make sure to do um, if you are uh, make sure to friend me up all right we're here let's go get this, these wheels installed all right guys car is finished all picked up uh, let's see how they feel I'm not gonna run it too hard right now, just because I got, as you can probably see, get everything behind me still. Um, as far as I got, you know, the other, the Blizzx, along with the stock Dunlops. But ready for autocross tomorrow. So excited, can't wait to see what these tires do.